Karen, once again, panto season's nearly upon us. How excited are you about Aladdin at the Kings? I'm loving it. This is the second time I've done Aladdin. I'm playing a slightly different role this year. Yeah, it's a surprise. Come and see. Um, so it's, it's quite different for me. And I'm excited about that. I'm getting to be a bit more creative and a bit more bendy. <laughs> very nice because <laughs> this is your character behind you very very sexy There's, thank you it's not the first word that came to my mind there when I looked at it but I'll take that yes that is my character kind of kind of have you yeah. got two characters yeah split personality there is some of that going on Lindsay I just can't tell you too much because the script's locked down it's locked down it's not written yet it's locked <laughs> down so what's it like behind the scenes? We're obviously here at Scottish Opera where you guys are rehearsing. What's it like? What are you going through just now? At, at the moment, it's a breeze. Um, what we try and do is we get the script through and then we kind of topicalise it. Is that a word? But, so we write in sort of what's happening. Or I actually kind of I collect jokes throughout the year that I think that would be really good for the panel. So it's finding where those things go. And it's us all kind of finding out where we're all moving as well. We're kind of blocking it just now and starting to come off the book, which is the theatrical term for knowing what to say at the right time. <laughs> we're in the costume department here. Your costume looks very fancy. Does it take a lot of time to like design that and get into that kind of thing? Yeah, I'm very fortunate. My costumes get made for me each year. I mean, there's a huge amount of work and expense going to the costumes are phenomenal and mines are good but the um, some of the other stuff is totally outlandish as well some real surprises in it this year and really good funny caricature costumes too it's most of the same cast that was in Cinderella at the Kings last year is there a good bit of banter behind the scenes it's actually exactly the same cast every one of us so the only person that's new is the genie this year um, so we all know each other and it was great on the first day. It was like a bit of a school reunion actually. So it's good because we've all got the chat going and we're all catching up with each other and what we've been doing this year. So very easy. Panto is of course fun for those watching, but what's it like, you know, behind the scenes, a couple of shows a day? Is it hard work? There's no denying Panto is really hard work. Um, I had no earthly idea of how hard the work was until the first year. Um, and I loved it. Um, I get paid to jump around, sing songs, tell jokes, make faces. You know, it's essentially what I'm doing just in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Except somebody makes me a dress and I get to do it and people clap at the end. So for me, it's fantastic. Backstage is a riot. As you well know, Gavin, Bobby the Baron for Still Game. It's his and I sixth panto together. And um, we... T just um, he's one of the people that make me laugh the most so some of the stuff backstage actually I even I videoed some of the stuff that was going on backstage last year and every no every day every show he's got something else to keep me going and I kind of do that as well we need to do that all of the cast do that as a as a way to keep things fresh and keep our energy up so you like to ad lib on stage basically Oh God, I. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's called Abenazer this year, and one of the kind of running jokes in it is that we get his name wrong. So I mean, the other day I was I was like writing four syllabled words that start with A, you know, different things. So I had like Aaron Jumper and uh, Abercrombie, uh, just uh, like racking my brains. Eric Banner, I think I called him at one point as well. So I like every day I get to say something different to him, and he's got to be angry. He's got to be evil and stay that way. So I, I love that. And finally, you're spreading a lot of cheer at Christmas. How's Karen Dunbar going to be spending Christmas? I will be lying down in a very quiet room. Actually, no, I'll be with my family, uh, which I, I love. I'm really looking forward to it. And it's good because they all take really good care of me. It's like, no, don't be too loud because remember, it's Karen's day off because it is like Christmas day slash my day off. Um, but it's great. So I really get taken care of as well. I'm very lucky.